Oh, Bebo, I found a maze. It's amazing. Ah, ha, ha. Bebo, climbing's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work. I think I need to exercise more. Buggy, playing at the park is exercise. Did you see that really cool zip line swing though? I'm gonna go ride it. <laughs> Buggy, why don't you give it a try? Okay. Woo! Oh man, that was exhilarating, Bebo. Hmm. I'm starting to see some rain clouds in the distance. We might want to leave soon. You're right, these clouds behind us are starting to look pretty bad. But um, those clouds over there look even worse. What do you think? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll leave. Worms hate rain, Bebo! We gotta go! Don't leave me, Buggy! I'm coming too! Oh, I wish it wasn't raining so we could play outside some more. Bebo, this is a great opportunity for us to teach the kids about rain and where it comes from. You know, you're right. I actually don't think you've taught me about rain yet. So why don't we go ahead and teach the kids about rain? Woohoo! All right. Come with me, kids. Our rain lesson is going to start over here in the kitchen. Clouds come from water vapor, like this water vapor coming from this pot. Then that water vapor raises up into the sky and collects together to make clouds, like these nimbus clouds here, or rain clouds. When the water vapor in the clouds gets too heavy, it falls to the earth in form of rain. Like this rain here, Buggy? That's right. Watch this experiment for making your own rain. Ask your parents for help, though. First, pour some steaming water into a clear bowl like this. Then, take the lid with ice on it and put it on top. Now, you can watch your very own cloud form and start to rain. I cannot believe how cool that was! And that is an experiment to make your own rain. And that's it for the rain episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.